Frog Bombardment commencing. Battle Sector can be a challenging experience, especially for new players, so here's 10 tips and tricks to help you on your way. Focus and prioritize fire. Focus your fire on the most dangerous targets first, followed by targets of opportunity second, and weaken targets third. Always keep in mind that a squad's damage output is directly associated with the number of remaining units. Play to a unit's strengths. Chain swords and projectile ammunition from squads work best against other squads. Larger plasma-based weapons work best against higher HP squads and elite size units. Smaller plasma-based pistols, such as those used by Inceptors, work well against both squads and elite units. Intercessors and Hell Blasters have weaponry that can strike from a very long range. Use them to soften up units at a distance or to help protect from incoming targets using Overwatch. A great example of playing to a unit's strengths would be using melee damage from Devastators against elite units. Its rockets are great against squads and its guns make short work of soft air units. Use area of effect attacks on groups. Weapons such as grenades or flamethrowers quickly dispose of squads made for multiple low hit point units. A well tossed grenade, rocket, or a burst of flame works wonders. Elite units such as dreadnoughts and predator tanks can equip flamethrowers with an extended range that can effectively deal with multiple enemy units in a single attack, so be sure to take advantage when the opportunity presents itself. Heal the injured, repair the damaged. Keep a tech marine near your mechanical units and brother Ituro or a sanguinary priest near your frontline units to keep their health topped up. Keeping your most valuable units healthy really helps maintain the flow of combat. Use cover and line of sight to your advantage. The cover system is fairly rudimentary, but standing behind objects will help reduce incoming damage. It's also a great idea to move behind cover or around a corner immediately after firing at a ranged foe. How to tackle big enemies. Use ranged infantry and plasma weaponry whenever possible to reduce hit points and try to put objects between your squads and the elite cannon touting exocrine. Unless you're about to deal a final death blow, keep your squads out of the range of acid spewing elites. Otherwise it can be completely decimated in a single attack. Also be sure to take advantage of melee capable HQ and elite units in order to do large amounts of damage. Do bear in mind that many of these units will retaliate when attacked, so make sure you have enough remaining hit points to weather the storm. Fire at optimal range. Range weaponry works best when fired at an optimal distance. Accuracy and effectiveness will fall off as range increases or decreases. Overwatch and point of view. When targets are beyond optimal ranges or covered by an object, consider using Overwatch instead of a direct attack that may not deal significant damage. In these cases, it's often better to let them come to you. Any units that are currently idle should always use Overwatch while trying to anticipate the direction of enemies. Be sure to keep an eye on your flank to avoid any surprise attacks. HQ and Elite Units Take advantage of the second attack point. You can use melee or ranged weaponry twice while some can both attack or heal or repair nearby units. Keep healing and repairing in mind before you make your first move, as the damage unit may not always be adjacent to where you need to be for an attack. Unit losses and experience. Although this may change in time, unit experience currently holds no real value, and because replacements are free, don't sweat the loss of non-HQ units. You may even want to consider sacrificing them from time to time to protect other, more valuable units. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and consider a free lifetime subscription for more content just like this. This is Chris from Talent Gaming, signing out.